Today I'm going to do Tamar and Vince, Season 2, Episode 6. Um, this was basically about them getting ready for the baby. Um, it starts off with Tamar doing a photo shoot. Well, Tamar, Vince, and the dog. I think Miracle. Yeah. Um, they're doing a photo shoot, um, or whatever, like a family photo shoot before the baby arrive or whatever. Sorry, y'all. But I don't like the way my shirt looking. Anyway, um, so her and Terrell and a stylist or whatever, I guess she's a hairstylist or somebody. She was in there, they was, um, in there talking or whatever, and they were talking, um, about the water breaking or whatever, and how does it feel, and stuff like that, so, Tamar is <laughs> a nut. Tamar is such a nut, because they was telling her, like, um, that it's not actually water, and stuff like that, it's stuff like, Tamar was like, what, it's not water, it's slime, it's... Tamar, I think you should have got on the internet or you should have paid attention in health class in the ninth grade or something to know what happens when your water breaks. Don't wait, women, don't wait till your baby is about to be due next week to try to figure out what's all the stuff that goes along with pregnancy. Don't try to take that shit one day at a time. Damn, wasn't it like, ain't it a book called Nine Months Expecting or some shit like that? Because I know I had it with like two of my kids because... It's always different shit you can learn with each child. I'm just saying. So, come on now. Tamar, all she worried about is how snatched she gonna look. How good she gonna look when she's had this baby. She don't want no pain and she wanna look good. They talk about epidurals or whatever. She like, yes, because I have no tolerance for pain. Tamar, I don't think too many women do have tolerance for pain. So stop saying, acting like you the only one got tolerance for pain. No, no, no. Anyway, um... She had me laughing though when she said um, she thought she was supposed to get a Chanel bag or something after she had a baby. And I'm like, everybody can't afford a Chanel bag. So you think that you're supposed to get a Chanel bag before, when you have a baby? You're very delusional. So she said she'll take the drugs instead. That's what you're going to have to do. And I don't think you're going to get no the good ones. Just saying. Um, she taking pictures or whatever. What I can say, she looked nice on both scenes she looked nice with the overalls and her and Vince bickering back and forth like two little I swear they have like brother and sister sometimes more than uh husband and wife they sometimes act like brother and sister and I just be sitting there like would y'all just break out the boxing gloves damn because they bicker so damn much it's like Vince wasn't feeling it he didn't want to be bothered he was taking his time coming to take the pictures I'm like, if you don't push your ass over there, like, ain't nobody got time for this. Don't damn photos cost uh, so much money an hour. Ain't nobody got time for you to be taking your damn time to get up on it. Well, I guess you got money like that, so whatever. But any other time, he worried about time. Anyway, um, she was telling them, why y'all didn't put no foundation on him? And I'm sitting there like, why? No, don't do it. Don't try to put no makeup on him on TV. Uh, no, mm -mm. first of all, I don't want to see Vince with no foundation on. That's going to be looking really scary. You tried it, Tamar, really. But anyway, um, Vince is like really shutting down. But like I said, the pictures came out cute. The when she went to the park, it came out. Them pictures came out cute. She looked cute with the little stroller. And I was just feeling like her too. Like, how the fuck I'm going to be pushing a stroller and I got a baby that ain't going to look right? Like, do she look like a baby mama with a baby in her stomach and a baby in a stroller? I don't know. Just saying. Um, they throwing shade and shit at each other, and Vince, I, Vince had me laughing when he was like, shade free, shade free, I was like, this, told y'all, this is not always serious, he is such a goofball when he wants to be, but he don't want Tamar to be one, I don't know. Um, anyway, they have the baby shower, looks nice, it's really colorful, it's green, look like you're in a damn forest, I don't know, but it was cute, um. The wedding planner was complaining that the cake was late and the cake cost $1,400. I'm sitting there like, really? Really? $1,400 for a cake? No offense. No offense for what I'm about to say. But if y'all don't go get Maria now at the period market and pay like $80 for that same damn cake, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. The ones at them little Mexican markets, they be making some bomb-ass homemade cakes. So, mm-mm. But anyway, we'll move on because that, that was just too much for a damn cake. 
Vince and Tamar arrived. She looked pretty. Um, the shoes was cute, but Tamar, you knew better than that. But the shoes was cute. I can't say that. Um, the cake was Tony idea or whatever, so Tony. Go talk to Maria. Just saying. You, you, they didn't give you that cute ass of a cake when they, you was on the Braxton Family Value and y'all was in France or whatever the hell they was at. And she had that fucked up cake. Just saying. Um. Anyway, so they had a red carpet. The celebrities came. You had Amarosa. You had Tammy from Basketball Wives. You had Shanice and Flex. Tisha Campbell Martin. Um. You had a lot of people. Now. Let me go on on Tracy and um Trina. Which one? Trina. You don't come to your celebrity sister baby shower in a pink onesie where they have red carpet and paparazzi. And I understand what she was trying to go with it. But this is not your homegirl backyard baby shower or something y'all had in a little um, convention center in a little room or nothing like that. This was a, it's a celebrity fucking baby shower with paparazzi and bloggers and stuff like that. So, mm -mm. that wasn't the time or the place. And I felt Tamar when she was saying that. Like, you really came in there with a pink onesie, a sucker, some tennis shoes. No, that wasn't cute. No. Not for that type of kind of event. If y'all was having a damn baby shower with just the family, I can understand. Then, was it Tracy? She coming in there looking like a lion, tiger, and a bear. Oh, my. Like, really? Like, what was up with... She knew paparazzi was going to be there, but are y'all trying to get on the e words dress fashion police? Because y'all made it. Um... Anyway, the pop, the people with some bloggers and whatever, the paparazzi was asking everybody how did they feel Tamar was going to be as a mom. Everybody said she was going to do good. Um, we find out her and Amarosa are really, really good friends. And I was sitting there like, first I was like, oh, who? No, Tamar, no, don't have her in your group. But then I was like, I can see that. I can see Amarosa and Tamar being really, really good friends and throwing a lot of damn shade. Um... The baby shower went nice. I, I couldn't deal with the host. I, I don't know. I just don't feel like baby showers need a host. I think that should be doing too much. Maybe maybe because I'm from the hood. We don't do hosts. We just have somebody that threw the baby shower. And we all have fun. Play the games. Get dirty on the floor. Playing games. I didn't see none of that. We saw them playing some bullshit games. I don't know. Maybe it's for rich people. I don't know. But they couldn't get dirty. Because we would have been on the damn floor playing a cotton ball game. We would have had the damn thing to go around the stomach. We didn't see none of that. So it just felt like a baby shower that they were just sitting there. Um, They did dance a little bit. But I was like, okay. We can't hear the music. Just saying. Um, what else happened? Tracy. I think all the sisters was wasted. But Tracy was wasted she was white girl wasted black girl wasted chinese girl wasted she was all of them in one wasted a biracial girl wasted i don't know but she was wasted as shit she talking shit i was like oh i know tamar is so embarrassed i mean i'm just saying because you had a lot of celebrities there you had a lot of media there like but that's what y'all get for having to open the bar when you know your sisters can drink um, Vince now make announcement, Tamar make announcement, they thank everybody for coming, yada, 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 whatever. Um, he announced that she was number one on the urban charts or something like that. Kudos to you, Tamar. I'm looking for my, okay. It's always by me. Make sure y'all go get Tamar's Love and War, because, you know, I'm always going to support her to get this, um, y'all to get this seed, so make sure y'all go get it. Um, next thing they show after the baby shower is them flying to Atlanta Cause she's gonna have her baby there. Cause Dr. Jackie, y'all know Dr. Jackie from uh, Married to Medicine. Um, she's her doctor. She's been her doctor since 18. She only felt comfortable with her because she's the only person that's seen her purse, which you mean her coochie. I'm just saying, like Tamar, you and these damn names for your body parts. I'm just saying her vagina, her coochie, her box. I don't know. Um, what else happened? They go to Mama E house. Then it seemed like they, as soon as they arrived, they were leaving back out the door to go to the hospital. Um, Tony running out there talking about who she gonna ride with. Your car. Because you know they're gonna be at the hospital and they ain't gonna be able to leave. So why would you want to ride with them? Anyway, she was looking cute though. Um, they get to the hospital or whatever. 
on the way to no on the way to the hospital vince and tamar they talking or whatever um they kind of nervous tamar is really really nervous after she had talked all that shit and that's when vince was like you shouldn't have prayed about oh i can't wait till the baby come baby hair will come out and then now it's time for the baby to come out and your ass is scared but all mothers go through it so it wasn't nothing new tamar you wasn't the only one that felt like that we all went through they want this baby to hurry up because you're tired of being fat, tired of being bloated, tired of the baby pushing down on your pelvis. You get tired. But once you get them, the, the due date get there, you be like, oh, shit, wait a minute, because then the pain for the come and kick in. So, anyways, they going, they talking. Then um, she see a, she got a, had a call from her dad, so she calls him back. He tell her he not going to be there. He'll be there tomorrow. Tate Mars feeling some kind of way. She felt disappointed. I can understand her saying that because she really wanted her parents to be there. And he didn't have shit else to do. It ain't like he worked. Um, Vince was telling her don't trip because he ain't got his parents because we know his parents is deceased. They get to the hospital. The um, Her mom and her uh, Tony get there. They got escorted. You can tell they shut down a whole wing for Tamar because she had security through the hall, through the halls and shit. I was like, really? Poor baby? But then I, I, can, I can see that because shit, we might not shut down no hospital or security, but shit, when people in my family have baby, the whole damn family want to be there. I don't know why, but it just happens like that. So I can understand that. Um, She has preeclampsia, so they want to induce her labor. I can understand that too because I had that with my first child. That shit is no joke. But, and it be no joke when they induce your labor and then you in labor for fucking two, three days. Just saying, because she was in there for like two days that we saw and then she's still going to be in labor. Don't do that no more. Don't y'all pump us up that she gon' have this damn baby in there. We gotta get all pumped up and then we wait till next week. That's some bullshit to tomorrow. That's some bullshit. But anyway, so they all at the hospital. Her sisters come. They fucking with her like on day two when they finally come. They mess with her. Tamar just wanted this baby to come out. She was frustrated. She was tired. I was just like, oh. It just brings back memories of having my first child because I went through all of that. What she's going through, I'm, this shit is irritating. But um, all that she went through with this baby, I went through with my first child. Except I wasn't buying three damn strollers, some onesies, four onesies for five, six hundred dollars. Wasn't happening. Um, baby shower with house. I don't know. That was that rich shit. But all that other shit that she's going through is pregnancy wise. You're not the only one, Tamar. So many women have went through it. Now you have a pretty, pretty, beautiful, healthy boy. So, it was all worth it. Um, but anyway, this was my review for Tamar and Vince. It really wasn't that much, but her getting ready for her to have a baby. So, make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Keep. I do everything by the ghetto view. T-H-A, not T-H-E, except my Instagram is MissNika69. M-I-Z-Z-N-E-K-A-69. -E follow me. I'll follow you back. Make sure you check out my girl, Ashley Miller, 1987, and my boy, Mike B, 801 Check out their channels. Talk to them. We all talk back. All right, peace.